100 million albums sold <laughs> and counting. This is a woman whose career spans genres, spans generations, and we're gonna add one more genre to the mix. We're gonna talk about rock. You gotta move, Dolly Parton, everybody. Can I just clap for you? Well, I'll clap thank for everybody you, thank you. I was listening to all that. Oh my goodness, yeah. Dolly. Welcome back to HSN. Well, I have sold everything on HSN, so I thought, why not sell my rock you album, know, too? You <laughs> treat our HSN customers so great. Well, they I treat mean, me great, too. You bring us special items, and for everybody who's joining us, we are live in Nashville right yes, now. Yes, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. My first time here ever. And we're in your recording studio where so many things happen. And I was so excited because our HSN customer is getting an exclusive of your brand new rock album, Rockstar. Yeah, and you're getting some exclusive songs, three songs especially that's not on the album at the moment, but will be. Yes. You're getting this just for HSN. It's called Mama yes. Never Said and uh, Hit Me With Your Best Shot, mm -hmm. I think. That one, what's the other one on Ooh, there? Rockin' It. Rockin' It. That's the one I did on the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame uh, when I got inducted into that. So we wanted to have you have a little something special. It is. You get three bonus tracks. You get exclusive cover art on this one. And Dolly, I was saying earlier, I mean, you're musical career. I mean, honestly, it needs no introduction, but just to fill everybody in, your career spans over 60 years. Oh, I started when I was young. When you said a while ago I sold 100 million records, over I thought you said uh, over 100 years. I thought you said, no. <laughs> sometimes I feel like it. I've lived so long and done so many things. I mean, but here I am at yes. 77 and I'm a rock star. You are a rock star. You <laughs> I got all my dress for the park. <laughs> yes, and so we're showing right now on the screen to everybody at home, all of the tracks on this album. So just to fill everybody in, there are 30 songs on this CD. That's not counting the extra three bonus that all of our HSN customers get. 30 songs, and nine of which are originals, Mm -hmm. I mean, did it get to a point where you guys were like, we got to whittle this down? <laughs> so well, we did. Kent Wells, who produced the album, did a great job. We kept recording because I kept wanting to see which songs that I could do, and then I would plan to narrow it down. But every time I'd think, I want to do this, I want to do that. And after about 30, Kent said, Dolly, you can't record every song that's ever been. We stop. So he said, you got to stop. So we did, but then we had, uh, I went back in uh, to a record a song that we'll talk about later later yeah. uh, that I thought we have to call another session so then we said we called a session for that and then we recorded a few more so we wound up with enough for little bonus Absolutely. tracks as well amazing it is a mega roster I don't know if you all just saw on the screen the tracks but just just a few of the friends that joined at Dolly I'll just name some sting Steven Tyler, Kid Rock, Stevie Nicks, Peter Frampton, Joan Jett, Miley Cyrus, Yay. Chris Stapleton, uh, Pink, Brandy Carlisle, Elton John, Melissa Etheridge. We got a little Linda Perry thrown in, some Sheryl Crow, Paul McCartney, and Ringo Starr, mm -hmm. and Leonard Skinner. I mean, the list goes on and on. Uh, was there any session on there? that really earned a place in your heart? Like any standout song or session? Well, they're, they're all great. Of course, I love that girl power. Yeah. And of course, I loved working with Stevie Nicks. Yeah. Of course, I've always loved her. She stayed in Nashville for about four days, so we got to hang out together a little nice. bit. And so I just loved the track I did with her and Ann Wilson. I mean, I've always loved heart and Ann's voice. And when we got to sing on Magic Man, just hearing us in the headphones, it was like, whoa. Yeah. I felt like I'd, I'd died and gone to rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> it was, for me, I've been able to listen to it for the past couple of days, and it was so interesting because I laughed at parts just out of sheer joy. I was rocking out in the car line to pick up my kids at school, and then there were even songs on there that made me tear up. Like, Purple Rain was one that just kind of hit me, your rendition. Oh, I love that so song anyway, yeah. Almost haunting, just beautiful. And I'm, I'm wondering, with so many iconic songs, how did you put your Dolly stamp on these? Like, was there a process for you to do that? 
Well, I'd always wanted to do a rock album, and of course I sound the way I sound, mm -hmm. but usually when uh, you sing country music, you can just sing any way you want to, but I felt like I really had to be true to this, uh, you know, to rock and roll, to really kind of stay on the beat and still be me. Sure. So uh, Kent Wells was very helpful, and uh, Christine Winslow, who I love, she's a rock chick that we work with in the studio, so I'd, if I had any doubts at all, I'd ask her, would this sound good if I did this or did yeah. that? And right. So anyway, they were very encouraging. But I just wanted to be true to the great songs that I had loved all these years. My husband, Carl Dean, who's watching? He's hey, a Dad. big rock and roll fan, right? <laughs> he is. And yeah. I wanted to choose a lot of the songs that he loved. Okay. And so I, I did, like you say, I, we got nine originals. Yes. Kent Wells and I wrote a few, and I wrote a few on my own. So uh, I think we got a good mix. And as you mentioned, we got some great artists. Yes. And of course, Elton John got to do a duet Amazing. with Elton, and he, it was great. And Paul and Ringo I on love the same you, record. I love how you worked in uh, iconic legends and people who are now kind of moving on to the forefront. And you also span decades. I mean, there's 70 songs, there's 80 songs, there's 90s, 2000s songs. It was a really fun, wild ride for me. To it was, to and then with Pink and Brandy, like you yes, said, getting yes. to sing Satisfaction. That was a fun one. Yeah, the Mick I was Jagger, I couldn't run him down. He was working on his own album at the time. He kept wanting to try to find the time, and then I ran out of time because yes. we did all these vinyls. And yes. any time, that's so popular now, so uh, you have to have, there's a six-month wait for that. So uh, we ran out of time, and I, I, I missed out on a few of the people I would love to have had, but my goodness, I mean, we got so many fantastic people, and I'm just so proud of the album. Yeah, I, I'm so excited for all of you at home to get this. If you're just joining us, welcome. This is the best show you can be watching on a Friday night, right? Friday the 13th, yeah, right? Yeah, there's nothing unlucky about tonight. Not at all. And you all are getting the first dibs on this album. It's called Rockstar. It's Dolly's first, like, official foray into yeah. the rock and roll genre. And it's not even released until November 17th. So you're getting the pre-sale. It will arrive to you by November 17th. That tells me Christmas presents. Oh, it makes a great, great gift of present. all. Yeah. <laughs> we only have a certain amount. I will say that. Um, this is an exclusive version, so we have exclusive cover art. And then in addition to the 30 songs, nine of which are brand new originals from Dolly, we have three bonus tracks just for HSN customers. So if you're buying this tonight, I mean, I'm looking at under $20 for this much music. I, I just find that so exciting that you're bringing us something so special for our shoppers and at a great value. Everything's so expensive right now. We can get good music. Well, a that's price. a good deal. And of course, I put a lot of heart and soul in it. Yeah. So hopefully they're going to get their money's worth. So I have a lot of fans that watch HSN. And as I mentioned, I've been on HSN so many times. And that's when right. we thought about the rock album, I thought, well, you know, why not? I know it's a little out of the ordinary uh, for some of the things you do, but why not? You know, we're just, at, we're, it's about Christmas. Like you say, this makes a great Christmas present. Really? And I need the money, as I say. Costs a lot to look this cheap. <laughs> <laughs> and this cheap and this cheap. You heard her. Dolly's asking for you. And your I need the money. <laughs> no, well, I really think people are going to love this. I, I put my heart and soul into it. And how can you not have great music with all the people that we, you know, we're talking about? There's many more that we didn't mention so that I'm very, very proud, you know, yeah. to, to be part we're of. We're going to dive into all of that. We're going to share fun stories. We're going to talk about more of the artists. Um, Clearly, one of the biggest parts of your career and one of the things you dedicate so much time and attention to is your fans. You're always so gracious and so sweet and kind. Like, kind is the word that comes up all the time when people describe you. And so we were happy to have this and to be here live, but we thought, let's get some questions from your fans. Okay, great. People want to talk to you. They want to ask Dolly right, questions. So I'm we've ready. got one fan question. Okay. We're going to play it right now. Right. And here we go. This is from, from Katie. This will be from Katie. Hi, Katie. <laughs> Hi Dolly, my name's Katie. I'm such a huge fan. I love you so much. I love you, Katie. I love your voice, your music, and you. You're beyond. I think you're absolutely incredible. And I'm so excited for your new rock album. And I love that you kicked off your rock era at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame um, induction where you sang the song Rockin'. And that brings me to my question. You name drop a lot of rock legends in that song. And I was wondering, is it true that all along you've been inspired by rock music? Okay, so she wants to know, is it true that you've always been inspired 
by rock music, even well, though you're a country star. Uh, well, yeah, I have. Hi, Katie. Uh, we couldn't hear you very good in the studio here, so yeah. uh, so I was trying to make out what you said. But I've always loved uh, rock music. Of course, we all grew up with Elvis and the Beatles uh -huh. when they came along. We were all young then, and not so many of these great songs. But yeah, I was inspired by um, with Elvis and Jerry Lee Lewis, Carl Perkins, a lot of those people that were really great at the time. Little Richard. I mean, everybody knew that, even though we were country people I mean young people love that kind of music and so I had I have recorded a few songs through the years rock and roll songs in in albums and I've done covers of rock songs in a bluegrass country fashion but this is the first time that I have ever done a true rock album with true rock artists well, so I know that speaking to what you said how you've done bluegrass versions of rock before I remember seeing in an interview somewhere you were talking about how you had done stairway to heaven in a bluegrass way, and your husband, who's a rock and roll fan, was like, it's good, but then this time around, you're like, okay, I'm going full on rock then. Well, I know, when I did it, it he so said, good. I don't think you should even do that song, it's such a classic. Really? And I did it, and I did kind of a bluegrass version, I'd been doing some covers, and he said, are you sure that's Stairway to Heaven or Stairwell to Hell? No! Said, well, it ain't that bad, is it? So Only a husband I, can get away with yeah, that. Yeah, well, he's watching, he'll get a kick out of that, Sweet. but uh, when I did it, I thought, well, I am going to do it in my rock album, because it is a classic, yeah. and so I did it true to form and I tried my best to make it good for, for the fans and for Carl and he liked it. I think yeah. you're all gonna love it. Um, <laughs> uh, one of the other standouts I loved uh, Wrecking Ball that you did. Oh, I love Miley. Miley and what, what a yes. great song that is. That one do that. brought tears to my eyes. Oh. I, legitimate. It just, something about the two of your voices together. I know. We're just like magic. Just, it we? hits you right here. I know. Like, well, we've grown up together. <laughs> <laughs> I knew her before she was even born. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of her fair godmother, so I've known her since she was little, and so yeah. we just are connected, so I think you feel that when yeah. we sing. What are some of the other songs you're excited for? our HSN shoppers to hear? Well, I think they're all great. Yeah. When I did, uh, I did a, one of the originals, there's a song called My Blue Tears that I got to do with Simon Le Bon from Duran Duran yes. that went in the Hall of Fame. And uh, Heartbreaker I did with Pat Benatar. I also did the bonus track of hers. And so I really, uh, you know, love just singing with all the people, yeah. you know, on the album. And of course, Chris Stapleton, who is one of my very favorites, and Bob Seger, we did his song Night Moves on the Oh, yeah. On the that album was really fun. so that was a joy for me. <laughs> he's the only not rock person, but he's so loved by everybody and yeah. sings so great. Yeah. Uh, but anyhow, I love doing working that with him and Emmy Lou and Cheryl Crow. I wanted to do a tribute to Linda Ronstadt, who is you know we worked together. Linda, Emmy, and I did the, uh, one of my best some of my best work ever on the trio projects. And then I, uh, of course, Linda is not singing much anymore, so I grabbed Cheryl Crow, and we did uh, the You're No Good. And so that was a real special <laughs> moment, and hopefully Linda's yes. gonna love that. And I know another one a lot of people are talking about is getting Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr together. Well, they so weren't together together, but I, you know, we did it. A lot of these songs we did, I got to work in the studio with some of them. Some of them had to work different places wherever right. they were in their studio. Studios, you know, it's a different day and age now yes. but from what it's we amazing. used to do. So I, uh, Paul, when I asked him if he would sing on it, he said, yeah, and I'll play piano if you want me to. I said, oh, I think I want you to. Yeah. So I'll he take did it. both. <laughs> yeah, and then I thought, wow, you know, because they're, they're the last of the Beatles. And I thought, wow, I wonder if Ringo would play on it. And he did. So I felt very privileged to have, have the two of them on this. How did that process go? Like, how did this idea first come to be? You were recently inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and I know maybe that sparked something, or has this been something in your heart for quite some time? Well, all my life, or all through the years, I used to think someday I'd like to do a great rock album, and I was thinking in terms of, like, a Linda Ronstadt type, you know, rock chick type album, that, that kind of thing. But then when I got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I didn't feel like I had earned that. And I didn't mean to start a controversy, but I just kind of said I'd rather not take votes from somebody that spent their whole life in it. Yeah. But they said they were going to put me in anyway based on what the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is. It's people's music that had influenced other sure. other people. Sure. And so I accepted gracefully, but I thought, well, I'm like my daddy. I don't want nothing I don't earn. So I thought, well, I've got to do a rock album so I can feel like I've earned my place in the Hall of, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So it's, just, it's so important to me 
see that the rock people out there appreciate this album, yeah. especially the ones that I'm singing with and right. did their songs, but just the rock feel in general, I want them to think, well, you know, that's not bad for a country girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, in addition to all of the rock stars that you worked alongside, you put original tracks on this CD as well, um, and three of the tracks are bonus tracks that only HSN shoppers will be getting when they pre-order this CD. Yes. And one of the ones that I love, and we got footage of it too, of you recording Mama Never Said. Um, so we have a little clip we're gonna play of that so everyone can get That's a That's one of my songs. All right. Yep. Really, yeah. yeah, yes. <laughs> she never said a word about it. And the bees are just have to wait We'll just learn it as we go What else do we need to know? Oh, 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 oh. Mama never said a word about that, no We never, never, never talked about that, no Mama never said a word about that <laughs> <laughs> Almost had on the same shirt That's so yeah. fun! What a fun song. Well, it's fun because it's really, you couldn't really tell all the words. But like Mama never said a word about all that, the feelings you get when you kiss a boy and, yeah. make, you know, <laughs> you know look at the stars laying on your back. You know, she never said a word about that. It's just a cute little song, and I thought it would be a cute little love bonus you, track. You work in your personal stories, parts of your life, things that you've experienced into your music. But it's so interesting because so many of us out there relate on a personal level, even though they're your experiences. It's such a connection people have to your music. That must feel good to know that you reach the globe with your song. Well, it you know? does touch me. I'm glad because so many people can't write, but we all go through the same thing. We yeah. all feel the same things. Yeah. So I love it when I'm able to express what a lot of people would love to be able to, to write. Yeah. That's what's great about great songwriters. Right. And so, you know, I really, uh, you know, last night I put Keith Urban, uh, inducted him into the, the uh, songwriters, National Songwriters Hall of Fame, and I thought, I know exactly how it felt because I remember as a songwriter, you yeah. just feel like you've left something in the world today that, you know, that, I mean, that wasn't there yesterday right. and something that can live on. You love to sing, but being able to write about what other people feel right. and feeling like you are connected yeah. to them and they feel connected to you. And one of the other original songs that's getting a lot of buzz right now and a lot of people are getting behind it and connecting to it is another original called World on Fire. Yes. And we have a clip from your performance you did at the, it was the ACM? Yes, Award. ACM Awards. A, just a fascinating show visually, but lyrically as well. And I would love to share some of that with some of our viewers. It's, it's on your CD. But just to give them a look and then maybe we'll okay, chat about great. that too. Take a look at this, you guys. from that energy, urgency. I mean, this is one of those songs that people are like, wow, watch out. 
Dolly. I well, know. it does, you know, it really is one of those songs. After we had finished the song, after Kent had said enough stop, I went home that night and I, I just got just pulled out of bed, you know, with a feeling that I needed to write something. Yes. So I wrote that song and I called Kent the next morning and I said, Kent, we got to call another session. I've written a song I think we have to do. He said, Dolly, we can't record we another. <laughs> we can't do a session for one song. I said, I think you'll think we can. Yes. So we did put a few other songs in and we did that one, but I just felt so led to write that song because the world is on fire it's like everything's so crazy and i'm not i'm not into politics i hate talking about that sure. but i just hate seeing what we're doing to one another i, I so. think it almost it almost transcends just politics i mean i know you talk oh, about politicians in the song but i think you're right as a whole it's about us coming together and putting a little more yeah, kindness can't we into rise the above world. can't we show some love can't yeah. we just step up and make a change so anyway i should have said leaders of the world present and past you better make a change and you better do it fast that's yeah. basically what i was saying to everybody true songwriting on the fly no big deal just <laughs> <laughs> your process for songwriting it fascinates me i mean I've, I've watched documentaries and interviews with you and just doing my research to come here and I've heard you tell stories of how, almost like with this song, how it pulled you out of bed, how the inspiration just kind of hits and rings yeah. through to you, and you, you put pen to paper, and next thing you know, you've got a song written. Are well, there other songs you've done that with? Oh, many yeah. times, many times. But that's the thing about being a songwriter. And see, that's how I express myself. So many people have their way of expressing how they feel about things, sure. whether it be about the problems of the world or whatever. But for me, I feel like I can do the most good if I write it down, yeah. and because I'm not the one to carry signs in the streets. And we, we talk about that in that song, if right. you hear the rest of it. But it is, like you said on the album but I'm just real proud of that song I still think it's just a song that is still right now so yeah. who knows maybe one that one too. will make its way back like, around everybody <laughs> here in the studio if you guys could see behind the cameras there's so many everybody's we're tapping our feet and we're moving like it just kind of makes you want to move and get up and dance and we got a bunch of those in in the album yeah yeah they I mean it is stuff. so great uh, you can see well over 2100 of these sold already here's what I will say because I won't be doing my job as your shopping buddy if I don't kind of give you some updates here as to what's happening okay. on HSN Dolly has been gracious enough to bring us a limited amount of completely exclusive versions of her brand new rock star album so the album itself when it does hit the market it's in I believe November 17th mm -hmm. Um, there will be three tracks that aren't on that one because you as an HSN shopper are getting an exclusive version with three bonus tracks. You're also getting exclusive cover art, which we'll definitely talk about this <laughs> and rock and roll fashion in just a moment as well. But that those extra tracks are in addition to 30, 30 songs, nine of which are original brand new Dolly songs, all the rest just an incredible roster of musicians and songwriters and people that, like I said earlier, it just spans all generations. I mean, it is a phenomenal two disc CD. You can see all of the songs and the artists right here on the side of your screen. So if you want to order this, you are getting first dibs on the exclusive version. It will arrive to you by November 17th that's when the album comes out. So you're literally getting it the day it's out. You don't gotta wait in line. You don't have to like search the internet and hope you get yours. This is like your reservation, your pre-order. Uh, 19 dollars is phenomenal. We happen to have five flex pay on everything, Dolly. That's how people pay a fraction and they get it now and they pay that off over time, $4. $4 and I would think of giftables too. Anyone in your life who's a Dolly fan, they won't have this version if you're getting it for them here before they sell out. So it's something really special. It has a story behind it. We have all this merch we're gonna talk about, exclusive merch. There's <laughs> t-shirts. You got Dolly on your this. shirt. Look at me, I'm Dolly. <laughs> Don't you wanna have a little Dolly? I got on Dolly on my shirt too. <laughs> <laughs> it's the closest I'm gonna get and I'll take it. I mean, we have blankets, we have pillows, bags and pillows and trucker hats and so many goodies to share. But this, this is the thing that I think the whole world is waiting on. It's been a long process for you. It has. It took some time. Yeah, well, it took a year to get everything together to record it from start to finish. I used to hear him talk about it takes a year for rock, to do a rock and roll album. I thought, that's the craziest thing I ever heard. Because <laughs> you know, with a country album, you can go in, you can almost have a record out, sold out on the market in three months, wow. and that's even sooner. But with this, time you get all those artists and everything done. You were working and, around. Uh, we were working around the clock. people. 
I know, but it was great working with them. You know, we had we had you know Peter Frampton, which we didn't make mm -hmm. mention of. Michael McDonald. We had Fleetwood. Uh, I mean, the guy from Mick Fleetwood from. Uh, Fleetwood Mac, he played some percussion, and oh, we just had all kinds of great people on this. Our musicians, yeah. you know, in addition to yeah. uh, the artists that sing, we had so many great musicians. I did love that, Baby, I Love Your Way. That was great. So, oh, yeah, I'll yeah. always love that, that song. Good. Peter Frampton's great. And it was a good mix. Some of the songs were you with the artists kind of accompanying or supporting. Some of them were more like duets. I mean, it was, it really keeps you guessing the whole time. That's yeah, how I, I felt. Steve Perry getting to sing with him on Open Arms so great. was a great, great, <laughs> great so thing. Good. And Heart of Glass Steve was Steven Tyler, really that was a great moment. Steven ah, Tyler. I, know. I mean, this is amazing, right? Yeah. Um, we have a fan of yours. Okay. Who is on the phone right now and wants to say her hello. Her name is Vicki. So Hi, we're going to go live to the phones and make sure we can hear Vicki too. Vicki, welcome. You're live with Dolly Parton right now. Hi. Hey, hello from Knoxville. There you are. Yay, we can hear you. Yay. <laughs> Hi there, Vicki. How Hi. are you? I'm great. great. I'm calling from Knoxville. Well, Vicki, this is your Knoxville. moment. From Knoxville. Oh, well, Knoxville. you're up home. That's in my home territory. Of course, yep. you know that. <laughs> yes, I do. Did you have a question? I do. Okay. I don't know. Um, uh -oh. I was just thinking, um, after all, I was just thinking, after you all, were the one who ended you up, were the one who ended up, two living beetles. Two and living so, beetles. And so, I'm oh, let, let it be. Wondering how did that, wondering how did that, I think, you know what, we were having a real hard time mm. with our sound. I heard, I, it heard sounds, something about Paul McCartney. It sounds like she was saying you were the one to get Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr together. Oh, and well. And she's wondering how that process came Oh, I didn't, I didn't. Is that right? Yeah, it was just great. I just asked them and they said, yeah. Um, they weren't <laughs> together in the studio, but I think they were, they were both very proud of the record. I know when, when the song came out, Paul, you know, he, they put it on his socials and I think Ringo did too. So anyway, I just, you know, I just asked Paul and he said, yeah, and asked Ringo and they said, yeah. So I felt good that I had them because my God, who doesn't love the Beatles? Right. That's like classic. Is that what you were asking, Vicki? Yeah, we're, we're just having a real uh, heart trouble with, with our sound. But thank you for being a fan. Appreciate it. Thank you, Vicki. Yeah. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Don't you feel helpless when you can't I hear know. what somebody's asking? But I heard, I, I think I heard the it. call and I heard the yeah. something about Ringo and then it was in between. It was cutting out. I think we well, anyway, it. just know we're not... Well, we might be silly, but we're not. <laughs> but, not intentionally at But this we couldn't hear it. It was cutting yeah, out. Vicki, yeah. thank you anyway. Yes, we appreciate so appreciate it. you calling in. And yeah. you're, it's so interesting to me, too, your fan base. It really does span generations. Mm. I mean, from people who have been with you from the start to young people out there now. My sister-in-law, so my brother's wife, she's in her early 30s, loves and adores you. Their daughter's name, guess her name? What? Dolly. Oh. So, I mean, shout out to everybody out there yeah. who, from young to old, just finds a connection with you and your music. Well, I've been around. I'm you? older than music. Is no. what is. Well, actually, I have been around a long time, and people have just kind of grown up with me, because like you mentioned, I, I started when I was 10, and I'm, a, I'm 77 now, and I, here I am doing a rock album. <laughs> but but when, I, when I started working on Hannah Montana mm -hmm. with Molly, mm -hmm. that opened up a whole new world for a lot of young people and her fans at that time have followed me all the way through. But then, of course, back in the early days, I was still doing my thing. So people are always coming up yeah. to me and saying, oh, my mom just loves you. My grandpa loves you. My yeah. great-grandpa loves you. <laughs> or when they say they grew up with me, I think, well, I guess I'm older than I thought. So and <laughs> but I appreciate that, though, that I've been yeah. able to be around long enough to, I think people just feel like I'm part of the family because they've always yeah. seen me. It seems like a true love. I mean, when you read comments and stories from fans, it's it's so interesting, too, because, yes, people say how much they love your music, but they also say how much they love you, like that you're just a light. You are you are kindness personified. I, I hope I'm hitting it right for all the HSN well, fans out there. And I, well, you're very sweet to say that, true. but, I, you know, I love people, and I love yeah. what I do, and I think that kind of shows, too, yeah. that I'm, 
you know, that I'm happy with that. And I'm, you know, I'm just a country girl. I'm kind of like a, a mountain Cinderella. My story is kind of a, a Cinderella story. Yeah. And, you know, so I think a lot of people relate to that. And also, I always talk about how I feel like all things are possible yeah. and that dreams can come true. And I'm a good example. My, my first little book that we put out through my imagination library, where we give books to children, you know, from the time they're born till they start school, uh, the first a book that we give out is a, is called The Little Engine That Could. Remember that famous? So I always Absolutely. think that I, I'm a good example that I'm a little engine that did. Yeah. And I'm grateful for the fans. You'd mentioned those before. Yeah. What would we be without the fans? That's Nothing. True. I saw <laughs> someone in the lobby of my hotel. Uh, we were on the way here. And she had a shirt on that said Dolly for president. Oh. I mean, it's like... I always have my fun joke I say about that when they say Dolly for president. I said, no, we've had enough boobs in the White House. <laughs> so that I just kind of move on from that. Oh I wouldn't goodness. be in politics. <laughs> well, I'm going to do a smooth transition here then because we can't talk rock and roll without talking fashion. I okay. Mean, they okay. go hand in hand. Yeah, look you at something. You look fabulous. All the artwork here is incredible. Let's talk about it for a minute. We've got your vinyl yeah, here Yeah, you can hold well. those up. Oh, oh we, we have, have the, the four. This is the cover for these four uh, set vinyls. And, yeah, and then... You, this is amazing. I only have 400 of these for everyone. That is it. Okay, so if you want to order this, 400 of you will. And it's so cool, Dolly. You've got, you've got this whole booklet inside. Yeah, got and a lot of great pictures. There's so much. Yeah, there's there's. I'm well, I tried to be it. fun, you know, with that. Yeah. See, we got the. I was laying on the on the floor in this one, uh, and that's a microphone cord that spells my name. That's incredible. And I remember, I, I remember laying on the floor, and I thought, do all rock stars have to go through this misery? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's talk about Look this outfit. Yeah. Look yeah. at that. That's uh, ain't that amazing? Cool. Yeah. Steve Summers did. Uh, he does a lot of my my work through the years and he did all the uh, uh, all the stuff for the rock album and so we just we just wanted to be kind of tongue-in-cheek trying to be yes. you know you are you going to show him oh you've sure, got that already sure. yeah you have that yeah that one I was also laying in the floor with my glasses I need one now oh, <laughs> yeah I was going to wear glasses tonight I thought oh that'd be a little tacky yeah, I was going to try to look like a rock star <laughs> I was going to wear one of these see we, some of the fun we had Go ahead and show the, all the covers. Is that sure, all of them? Sure, yeah. yep, there's one more. Because, yeah, when we did things like this, um, I was thinking like all the great rock artists like Kiss. Yeah. You know how they were yes. saying that kind of played off that with, you know, with a, with a star. And we have one with a butterfly on it, too, uh, that's cute. But, yeah. yeah. So I, I was exclusive. just, Molly, she, Molly's the one that gave me uh, directions of how to, you know, kind of, if you're going to be a rock star, you got to dress like a rock star. And then she, uh, uh she also told me the the great um, photographer yeah. to use. Yeah. yeah. So this is a boy from India. I think his name is Vidget. Fantastic. And he did some beautiful, beautiful shots. I mean, come on. That ah! that is amazing. Is that not amazing? Everybody, that, everything. Yeah, I know this. that that uh, that car is an old Cadillac that my niece Rebecca had, and I thought she said, "You know what? I'm going to bring that over. You might need that." No and she turned out to be the cover. Like, where do I get a leopard print steering wheel cover? I know. I don't want one of those. But we we used a lot of leopard skin. Molly said that's a hot thing, so I took yeah. her at her word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you prefer then, rock and roll fashion or? more country fashion? Oh, or? I just wear what I what feel like? good in, what I feel comfortable in. Yeah. But I have to say, I've had so much fun getting to wear so many different things. I've been doing more big hair. Did you see all that? <laughs> She's got crimps. I know, and but I you love know, on the exclusive cover art of the CD, there's even, like, I see some neon Oh, green, yeah. Sh Cheryl hair. Riddle, my hairdresser, she said, oh, you got to have color, too. So we had all kinds of all kinds of things all in it, yeah. Things. yeah. And even I had one of, the, one of those, I think, on the back, where I had, yeah, you could see, I was standing where you could just see my back, because yeah. Cheryl wanted me to take that picture so you could see the hair. I love it. <laughs> I love it. It goes all the way down the back. Dream. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely just iconic. So exciting. Everyone, if you're just joining us now, this woman needs no introduction. My name is Michelle. We are live in Nashville Well, just right in now. case, I'm Dolly. Just in case. <laughs> She is the one and only Dolly Pardon, and we are talking about this exclusive pre-order of your brand new album. It's called Rock Star. So Dolly is moving into the rock realm, <laughs> and we happen to have uh, three exclusive bonus tracks, exclusive cover art. We are going to get it to you in your hands by November seventeenth. That's the official date of the release. Yes, Does that it seem is. like it's been a long time coming. For I you? know. Well, it's been a year, so we're yeah. ready. 
and ready to go. <laughs> well, I waited kind of a lifetime to do it, but then I worked on this particular album for a year. Yeah. Okay, we've got another question from a fan. Okay. So we're going to roll that. It's a woman named Shelly and her daughter, and I believe they're at Dollywood when they're asking this question. Oh, so, great. Hi, Dolly. I'm Shelly, and we are huge fans. We are so excited about your rock and roll album coming out and seeing all of the things that are coming with it. We are currently at Dollywood and enjoying the Harvest Festival, and it it's so beautiful here. We do have a question for you. We love seeing all the merchandise available right now. What is it like when you see people in public wearing your image? I have to say, but I'm always complimented. I'm always saying, hey, like your shirt, hey, like your hat, hey, like your whatever. But that's a great, that's a great, great compliment. So thank you. I was looking at the floor because that's where the, the little video yeah, showed us the there. question. Yeah. yeah. So those at home think, who's, what's she looking at the floor for? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm always honored for anybody to do any, anything that has to do with the, with me because it's always a compliment. That's why I say I love the fans and I appreciate you. Yeah, you must get a lot of fan art as well and gifts and things that it oh I do I do I it's get all cool. kinds of stuff and yeah. I have do not have the heart because I've got big big barns at my house uh, like storage barns because I cannot throw anything away yes. and I lovingly call it my art and crap building <laughs> you know because <laughs> I have a lot of my own too the stuff I do yeah. but I, I consider it all like art and yes. so because uh, I know how hard the stuff that I cannot put in my house or you know because I get so much, but I don't have the heart to let them do anything with it. And some of it we had at, at Dollywood in my museum. We had an attic, and I would put a lot of the things that fans had made me through right. the years, and they'd go by and think, oh, there's mine, there's, oh, that was mine. Yeah, so I love, I love that. So I keep it, so there's times that we can do all that. Yeah, that would be fun to just go back and take a look at, too, Yeah, you want to. Yeah. Um, some of the merch that we have at HSM, we've got some exclusive merchandise that you all can pick up one of them is these blankets. So behind us, these might look like giant portraits. These are throw blankets, and they're super soft and plush. They're big. I've got one here. I don't know if I can. And don't go around saying I slept with Dolly. Yeah. Well, I guess you could. I, you? I had asked Dolly. I said, did you ever think you'd be on a blanket or before the show started? She said, no, I've been on a lot of blankets. <laughs> but look at this. Oh, thing. that, yeah, I hadn't even seen that one is made that up cool? into the blanket. Yeah. It's super, super But it would soft. make nice art. You know, for your she yes. shed or yeah. your throw it over your, your your couch or yeah. your seats or again, giftables. I would feel kind of funny sleeping with myself. <laughs> <laughs> we have a pillow too, you know. Here's yeah. the other um, blanket. This photo is incredible. Look at this one. Do I have it? The right You're upside thing? down. I'm upside down. <laughs> I'm I've on. done that a lot. Of Here time. we go. Yeah. Here we go. They give you headaches. That. Yeah. Okay. I mean, oh, that's those. Are, that's the uh, picture that they use mostly. That's the what they call the iconic picture. Uh -huh. That's from the '80s, and that's the one we use on so much of the merchandise and everything. Yeah, it's, so it's yeah, that's one that's kind of used all, almost more than any other picture. Really, in my whole career, yeah. Do you have any standout moments for you when it comes to being on stage? And I mean, clearly with a, a career like yours, I'm sure there's many, but. Is there anything that stands out that you'll just never forget that feeling or that moment? Oh, well, there have been many, many times. But one of the things that to this day just thrills me to death, I used to go to shows and I, I'd, an artist that was so popular that people would sing along the words yeah. of their songs. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I used to think, wouldn't that be great to have people sing along on a song I had written? Uh -huh. You know. And so now when I do, when I start out, when they start, like, for instance, 9 to 5, yeah. you know, when you go that boom, 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 Everybody yeah. gonna start, and then get they the know nails going. Every word they know, every word, and so I still get a big thrill out of having everybody sing along with that's me, singing cool. Jolene, yeah. and all, all the things. So that's always a thrill. But every part of it has been wonderful for me. I've I've had a great, great life, thanks to God and and the yeah. fans. <clears throat> Excuse me, and so I'm still I've been singing a lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of people singing along to your songs, you must have had a blast with this new rock star album, getting to sing along to your favorite rock songs. I know. Oh, you know right? what? It was such a thrill. So that would that would cover kind of an, another part of what you just asked me. Uh, getting to sing with these artists, 
Everybody says, are you going on stage? Are you going on tour? I said, Lord, probably not, because <laughs> trying to just get this many great artists together Imagine. to get to do the album. But I did say possibly there would be some of these artists, if there was a TV show or something, you know, that we could do something, you know, like one of the award shows where we did a song with, with certain artists would be very cool. But yeah, it's always a thrill to get to sing with other people. I had such good luck with people like Kenny Rogers and, yeah. and my first duet partner, Porter Wagner, and, uh, and you know, Vince Gill, who I love, and so, but then getting to sing with all these great rock artists yeah. was like one of the biggest thrills of my life. Did they give you input on how to put the Dolly stamp on their songs, or did they kind of sit back and say, what do you want? How do you envision this? Well, they were very complimentary about how I did the songs. Was they, that nerve wracking? Yeah. No. No, because I knew I would have to do it. My, I, I wanted, I, it was nerve wracking when I decided I was going to do it and okay. the songs I was going to do. And then when I asked them to be on it, it was mostly only because I wanted them to be proud of how I did it. Uh, I wanted them okay. to think, well, she yeah. did a good job with that instead of, oh, she slayed my song or, <laughs> or you know, because sometimes you can yeah. do that. I mean, but I tried to be true to the melody. I tried to be, you know, true to the, you know, stay on the beat and do what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. But of course, I have my own sound my own way of singing yeah. but I really got to test myself you know I really didn't know how yeah. well I would do but then when I got to listen to those songs I would think oh I think I can go up to there I think, oh, yeah. I think do I dare and I thought well why not <laughs> you've done you've done stepped in it now girl right. so you might as well do everything that you can be fun for your creative mind though, it to was kind of like now we're twisting it and challenging yourself in a different way. It was, I was, because I mean, I know how I sound, yeah, sure. but getting to sing uh, these songs and be true to them, but still be true to me, and still make it where that was a good well, blend. Can I tell you, one of the ones I love is What's Up, because I love that song, first of all. I can't tell you how many times I've butchered it at karaoke, but I have fun. Uh, and then to see that you did that and you teamed up and I saw the music video is incredible. Oh, I love Linda Perry. Oh my Grace. Gosh. She said when she wrote that, it was called What's Going On. Yes. And yeah. so somebody else came out with that famous song, What's Going On. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, she said, well, I thought, what am I going to call it? I'll call it What's Up. So anyway, <laughs> a lot of people, you know, think of it as that song. But getting to sing with her, I got to work with her a few years back when we did a that Netflix did a movie called uh, Dumplin'. Oh, and the, yeah. in that movie, they used a lot of my songs. So Linda did a soundtrack, and we did we wrote some original things. And So I, I just loved her, and I thought, when I did this rock album, I gotta get her on it. So she's playing guitar, it's and great. she's singing with me on She's it. like in a bathtub in the video. I know. It's the coolest thing, and there's clips, and there's, I mean, you guys are gonna love this CD. I, it is so fun, and I, I love that it doesn't matter if you love country, if you love rock and roll, if you love current rock, if you like rock from years past, this CD has it all. And so here's a clip, oh perfect, thank you you guys, of that one too. Oh Let's yeah, that listen. was Steve Summer's big idea to put her in the bathtub and <laughs> do all that. I love that. Okay, let's hear a little clip, here we go. All of these years and my life is still just trying to get up that great big hill of hope for a destination I realized quickly when I knew I should that the world was made up of this brotherhood of man for whatever that means and so I cry sometimes to get it all out what's in my head now I'm feeling a little peculiar and so I wake up in the morning and I step outside and I take a deep breath and wonder why and I scream at the top of my lungs what's going on and then I say hey yeah yeah hey yeah 
they're going to play it all? I know. <laughs> yeah, no, that, was, all that was so fun. Steve Summers, who did the clothes, he, he did that video. And we did it over to school, and we had all these little kids, and we had the most fun, you know, with them. They were out on the playground. When you see the whole thing, it has them in and out. It's just talking about, you know, just kind of what's going on in this crazy world, and, you know, just kind of, you know, we just try to make it in sort of like the world on fire, just trying to speak to, trying to leave the world a better better place yeah, for the youngins. Absolutely. I love it. It's like children are just drawn to you as well. It's so... Well, they, so they know me as the book lady in addition to rock star. Yeah, the book lady. That's <laughs> when right. I wrote, the, I thought I have to have a title song for the album, so I wrote the song Rock Star, and I, I patterned it after kind of like Joan Jett. Yeah. You know, it's like about a little rock star that's, you know, mom and daddy saying, turn that music down, you know, <laughs> shut up and all that. So when I wrote the little song, I was thinking of a little kid you know, like myself, when I started in the business, I was always singing and picking, and it's like, can you just knock it off for a while? So anyway, that was that was cute, but working with Linda was a great joy. Well, I, I hope you all are enjoying this moment right now, uh, live with Dolly. We are here in Nashville. It has been such a treat and an honor to be able to come here and to talk about all of these great things with you, this new CD of yours, your inspiration, all of it. And if you happen to just be joining us and saying, What's going on? What's <laughs> happening? What am I watching? What's going on? <laughs> we are giving you an exclusive pre-order of the brand new CD. It is called Rockstar, and it is some of the most iconic, most listened to, and well-known rock songs reimagined in Dolly's way. And Dolly got to work with these artists. There's nine original tracks on here as well. The HSN version has another three bonus tracks. I mean, 33 songs on one, C well, two CDs. It is a two disc uh, CD. Exclusive cover art. I mean, a lot of extras that you bring just for the HSN shopper. And I said this earlier, but you treat our HSN customers so well. Well, you I mean, treat you me good. Special stuff. <laughs> I thought, well, yeah, I always have fun when I'm on yeah. HSN, no matter what we're what we're selling. That's but right. I thought, well, this would be a great treat. It's yeah. like I say, a little bit out of the ordinary, but why not? That's right. Yeah. That's right. We got the fans out there. If they want it, they'll buy it. And That's if they don't, right. they won't. But That's hopefully, right. they'll enjoy the show. But you get you get early first dibs. It will arrive to you by November 17th, which is actually the official release date. So not only are you getting an exclusive version, you're getting it first, right? You get to lock that in, um, grab them for, you know, holiday gifts for, um, everybody knows at least one or two people, if it's not you yourself, who loves Dolly Parton, right? And now <laughs> we're working in all the people who love rock and roll too. It's like we're combining those two worlds. They have collided and created this amazing art. Well, it thank really you for that. Up. I had a lot of fun doing it. Now, I I really yeah. think people will feel the joy and excitement and the magic and the love that's in this whole album because of all the great people I got to work yeah, with. Yeah, that's right. A lot of your, your favorites. Well, I know you love HSN, home shopping and all of that too. If you, I'm just curious, if you were an HSN host, what, what kind of products do you think you would enjoy selling the most? Because we have everything. <laughs> well, yeah, I would love doing this, for sure. <laughs> but I would get into all of it, though. Cause I can I see kinda... you doing some beauty shows. Oh, I would sure. love to do the makeup. Yeah. I, you know, I would love to do the perfumes, which I, you know, we're doing a lot That's of my right. own. Yeah. But I would always love that, no matter how I was doing it. And I love the clothes. I, was, well, I watched the show half <laughs> for all these yeah. years. Yeah. And I love and I'm always wanting to order everything yeah. I see. It's hard. I have... work in there. Dolly. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. I bet it is for yeah. somebody working. I'd probably carry off to not shop half the, the merchandise. Mm -hmm. Leave us, leave a note saying I owe you. <laughs> well, if you ever did a clothing line, you come to us. We're here yeah, for you. Well, I, I will oh my be gosh. doing that at some point. Head to yeah. toe, I would be all Dolly. It would be so well, fun. Great. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have a lot more things that give me a good reason to come yeah. be with the HSN gals and and guys, and then of course to the fans. I always enjoy yeah. being on the show. I feel very comfortable, like I'm talking to the people at home. We love that. a lot of them are women. Yeah. So I love yeah. all the gals, but there's a lot of them that are guys That's too. That's right. We're live on. HSN's Facebook page right now. We're streaming this on Facebook as well, and everyone is just loving you, saying hello. Um, they love seeing you. They're excited to get the CD. We just want to say hello to all the Facebook viewers yeah, for as sure. well. Um, it is amazing this day and age, though, how you can reach audiences now anywhere at any Ain't that time. Amazing? And in an forever. instant. Yeah. In an instant. I mean, anything. Is it good or bad? It's both, I guess. I know. I guess it's both. Yeah, but it's it's true. Yeah. There are no secrets. No. 
So, Secret Sab, I got a wrong album. <laughs> it's here, and you get it. You get first dibs. Um, a couple of people asking about these pillows. Did you get to see these pillows yet? They are so. Oh, by the way, trucker hats too. We'll uh, talk about that in just a yeah, moment. I got too part much of hair merchant. and too big a head. Oh, I wouldn't know about too much hair. No, <laughs> I never. can't relate to that one. <laughs> Check out these pillows, though. I'll show you guys. Oh, I know I these are great. The I love these. Did you want to hold one? I mean, if you're a fan, yeah. We I'll have 400 hold. of each of these. These are exclusive. <laughs> you're not going to be able to go to any store right now and find these. This is the, this got. is a then and now. Yeah, <laughs> then and now. And before that's and funny. after. Yeah. I love it. It looks like a yesterday and today. Yeah, that's kind of what it is. It's what I'm up to now because I've been up to everything for a lot of years. But I'm real proud of this. But I think these are fun little things. They They're fun for like the den or playrooms and stuff that's like right. that. That's right. I could. And see if you're a fan in your bedroom. Right not yeah. a couple of people at hsn have them in their offices already oh, on the yeah. couches in their offices and oh, like, dude, yeah, uh, well, can we take good. that because we got to do a show i gotta you guys gotta get that back. my album's out and hot <laughs> oh, right. uh, there's a zipper on the bottom by the way so you can unzip it and wash this no problem uh but i just think that's but don't wet my hair because don't wet her hair it. or the eyelashes <laughs> eyelashes no, don't make, let my makeup thing. run right <laughs> no seriously though that's great that it's easy easy maintenance yeah and I look at our prices too. It makes me so proud to work at HSN because you look at merch now, sometimes, you know, it can be super expensive and there are people who really want to get one of everything. And I think we try to make that easy for our HSN shopper with good pricing and with, you know, flex payments and all of that too, you know? Yeah, well, Here's you do one. good. You've been on the air a long time. Yeah. yeah. Look at this hat. You, you don't do that unless you can. Oh, you did make uh, it. I made it. <laughs> I made it work. Yeah, okay. Golly. How cool is this? A trucker hat. So it's Well, you're pretty cool yourself without the hat. You've done a beautiful job. Thank you. Yeah, you're, you're fun so to work fun. with because sometimes I do so many things. Sure. Sometimes you meet people and you just feel like you, you know them. So you're very sweet. And thank you for career done. Moment met. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> That's thank you. That's very kind of you. You're very easy to talk to. Well, yeah, Lord. You know, That's all I natural. do is talk. Well, you know, people. <laughs> People want to hear what you have to say because your your words are always inspiring. They're always kind. They they seem to be motivational. I mean, it just makes people want to do better. I think when we hear you speak. Oh, well, yeah. good. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad I'm good for something. Yeah. Besides being a rock star. <laughs> you are a rock star. Look at the tea. I mean, I this know, look at that. How cool <clears throat> is this? So we have these available too. We have 500 total of these, man. So I mean, if you love any of these items. You kind of need to be grabbing them while you can. I imagine um, s extra small to 3X is our typical sizing. On It's all cotton. It's super soft. You can see the artwork here. How fun was it to do that photo? To get oh, to it was fun. We spent car? all day. Uh, we, you know, I was worn out by the end of the day. For sure. Well, actually, we, it was over a couple of days that we did the whole thing because we did so many pictures because we needed it for, for the brochures and yeah. for the pictures inside. So it was fun. It, I actually got... I love dressing up anyway. I yeah, love and getting I to wear a lot of different clothes. Some of these you may be seen for the first time, right? Because yeah. they got turned around so quick. And yeah. it's so exciting to bring these to all of you who are watching. If you are grabbing the CD, congratulations. I don't know what our count is at at this point of how many of you have scooped it up. Last time I checked, we were well over 3,000 of you grabbing the CD. Here's a look at the vinyl, by the way. Um, oh, 4,300 people now grabbing your CD. Wow. The vinyl, we only have 250 left available for everyone. Inside, the box is beautiful, but inside there are four Beef. of these vinyls. Yes, and each one I hold has great hold artwork on it. <laughs> I love the book that comes with it inside. Oh, yeah. As well, it's got all kinds of fun little tidbits. Oh, yeah, and all the, all the credits of all the people who's on the records and and all that, all the people that took part in it in yeah. every way, so. so. And the writers and the singers. I do want, we talked about your writing process earlier and, and how that works for you and when it's your songs, it's very personal and you write what flows. What did you do for this album where you're working with other people's songs? Like what was your process putting this album together? Well, I, like I said, I tried to choose songs that were favorites of Carl's, although there's so many of them, yeah. but I also <laughs> figured I'd better find songs that my voice, I felt that I could uh, sing well. I okay. didn't, I didn't want to, to do some of the ones that were just where I just had to scream my whole lungs yeah. out. You yeah. know, I didn't want to strip my 
gears, yes, you know, sure. doing it. But I did strip my gears a few times on some of these, but on purpose, you know, where I try to. But I, I just wanted to pick good songs, meaningful songs, yeah. and uh, songs that really had a, had a message, uh, you, know, you know, like every breath you take, singing that was Sting. Was so we, the two of us, did all the harmonies on that. He did some of the most beautiful harmonies, and you know, and then I did some harmonies with myself. So all of those vocals on there, just the two of us. Yeah. But he is so special and so nice, and I've always loved that song. Yeah, it's a beautiful So song. I wanted to choose wh what weren't songs that were Carl's favorites, and I wanted to choose some songs that I especially love. Yeah, like Purple that. Rain. I mean, I know oh. I mentioned this earlier, but you guys, if you get this CD just to hear that one, <laughs> well, it's all Dolly. It is incredible. It's so I good. felt like I was channeling uh, oh. Pri uh, Prince when yeah. I was singing it. I felt So I didn't feel like I needed to have anyone else on that one no, because I just, felt so special yeah. when I was singing that song. It was very intimate. I felt like him, and so I thought, well, he is on that record with me. So I didn't put a, a, anyone else on that one. Well, and in addition to the 30, 30 songs on this, there are three bonus tracks you will get if you're purchasing this one right here. This is the exclusive HSN version, and one of them, Hit Me With Your Best Shot. Great <laughs> song. I know we've got a little clip of that one as well that we want to share with everybody. Okay. Like I said, it runs the gamut of fun, emotional, upbeat, slow, like it's just such a great CD. Let's take a little listen to your rendition of that one. Everybody in the world want to grab a microphone and join you. Oh, How well, that's fun. fun. We went in the studio and to sing a few of the little songs I knew we yeah. were going to be using because some of them we hadn't done like full videos sure. or anything on. So I just go in my recording studio and just play the track back yeah, and, fun. <coughs> and sing along with it. It's a know. great little compilation there of uh, some behind the scenes moments. And that was recorded just for you, our HSN customer. And I know we're winding down here. We've got a minute left on this. We're gonna, in about 15 minutes or so, Dolly and I are gonna hop on to HSN Plus, which is our streaming service. And we'll have an exclusive interview over there. We're back live again here on HSN at 10 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. Busy, busy lady you oh, are. We so appreciate know. your time. I'm just here. like a little chatterbox. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you guys have had a blast with us. I hope you join us for those little bit of extras. Grab your exclusive CD while you can. You can call us, scan that QR code, go to hsn.com, use the free app. I mean, like I said, technology, we're everywhere and we want you to be able to grab yours <laughs> while you can. Dolly, such a pleasure. Well, thank you. I had a good time. I mean, you. yeah. Hope the folks at home enjoyed it. I'm we'll sure. see you at 10. I'm sure they did. And yes, we'll see you soon. One more look at all of the tracks that are on this brand new CD. It's called Rockstar. It's not officially out until November 17th. You're getting pre-orders. It will arrive at your door in your hand by that date, which is so exciting. And these are all of the wonderful artists and wonderful songs. Uh, remember, there are nine completely original tracks, and then you are getting three extra bonus tracks that nobody else will have. In fact, once these sell out, they're nowhere out there in the world, anywhere else, but with you if you grab it. So congrats to those of you getting it. You can keep shopping with us. All the merch is on hsn.com. And Dolly, again, such a treat. You are just a true icon. Well, thank you. True classic. I'm a rock star. You are a rock icon. star. You're an official <laughs> Today rock star. Today I am. <laughs> yes, you are. So thank thanks you. to everybody. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you yeah. soon. Remember, hop on over to HSN Plus in about 15 minutes. We'll see you there. I grew up in a setting related to food. Cooking for me became a passion. My culinary line, Lydia's Kitchen, is special because behind it is my 50 years of experience of cooking. I hope that this cookware will make things easier in the kitchen and bring beauty to your home. This is my only cookware line and it's exclusive to HSN. Watch Lydia's Kitchen by Lydia Bastianich, only on HSN. 
Tis the season to be a VIP. Use your HSN card to get the best deals on gifts for everyone. Shop now for the holidays and pay over time with Extra Flex or VIP financing on every item and at least eight VIP savings events a year. Plus, the HSN card has no annual fee. Not a card member? Apply now and instantly get $50 off when you're approved. Visit hsn.com slash hsn card or call 1-800-695-1418 for details. Holiday host fades are here. And HSN is celebrating with two days filled with 22 of the season's best today's specials and must-haves. Handpicked by all your favorite hosts. Tune in and cozy up to all HSN hosts' favorite holiday deals, merry offers, and extra special surprises. Holiday Host Fades starts Friday, October 20th, only on HSN. Value of the day. to the races. I have to tell you, we are going big.